special week on the game plan as we break down the Bundaberg Rum Captain's Challenge. I'm Paul Shodka, joined by Anthony Seabold. Seabs, difficult to game plan for. The Captain Challenge really comes down to astute play by the captain on field. Let's take a look at a couple of good challenges and some that could be improved on. Yeah, definitely. I, th I think the biggest thing about the Captain's Challenge is context. So let's have a look at uh, an earlier game this season between the Parramatta Eels and the Gold Coast Titans. You'll see the score is 26 to 28. Titans in front. It's about six minutes into the second half. And Mitchell Moses is at um, the marker position. And uh, there's a penalty awarded. And what he does straight away, he goes over to Clint Gutherson. So he goes over to Ken Gutherson, the captain of the Parramatta Eels, and says that he wasn't involved in that particular um, indiscretion or that particular error. And they decide to uh, mount a captain's challenge. So when you look at the context of the game, um, you know, there's two points in it. You know, the uh, Gold Coast Titans get an, e an extra set there, puts the Parramatta Eels under pressure. So if Mitchell Moses knew he wasn't at fault, then it's a no-brainer for the Parramatta Matter Eels to challenge that and like I said he's got a good relationship with Clint Gutherson went straight over to Gutherson and and um, you know spoke about um, how, how I wasn't involved and they challenged it and they got the result good as challenge. well yeah this one a bit different only six to go 22 all and you've got Joe Arrow coming into the line and then a bit of a messy play the ball so a bit more uh, I guess context again in a different way yeah context again I think um, you know with six and a half minutes to go the scores even um, you know, with this particular play of the ball where Jai Arrow is, it's about 30 metres from the West Tigers line. So if they get a penalty there, then they can kick for goal, go in front with, with not long to go. But you'll see as the, as the play unfolds, you know, Jai Arrow gets up to play the ball and uh, Leilua is sort of all over Jai Arrow there. Well, that's the suggestion from the South Sydney Rabbitohs. So Cameron Murray, the captain, Cameron Murray comes up in the number 13 jersey. There's a little bit of a conversation between the players here. Um, Cameron Murray makes the decision to challenge the, the decision. Now, whether the, uh, the Rabbitohs get the, the rub of the green or they don't here, in some ways, it's not such a bad challenge mm. because it just takes the, the gas out of the game. Yeah. It's tackle four. Mm. Uh, they're only 30 metres out from the Tigers. If they get the result, they go for goal, like I yeah, said. Yeah, you can see him front. holding the two up. Ex so exactly. We could get two here. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so they go in front with not long to go. If they don't, and it is a handover because of the error or a scrum because of the error, then, um, again, Tigers are coming off their own line. So it's not as if you know they're down the, uh, the Rabbitohs end of the field. So I thought that's a pretty smart decision by um, you know, Cameron Murray there. You can see Jai Arrow doesn't get the result this time and uh, the referee and the, uh, the bunker go against Jai Arrow. But it's a pretty fair, I think, um, you know, challenge by the, the, the captain there. Good decision by South, even though it didn't go their way, but not much time passed in this game and we see something where maybe the Dragons, if they had their time over, would, would go with a different result. Yeah, so it's like it's three minutes. So we, again, we talk about context and, you know, when's the right time to, to, to make a, I suppose, a challenge. Now, if it's a really obvious one, of course, yeah. but three minutes into the game, it's nil all. Look, the game's not going to be decided on this particular decision here, so let's let's have a look at it to start with. So, crossfield kick for Zach Lomax is really good in the air. The Bulldogs uh, make a bit of a meal of it there. Josh Adokar's trying to get out of his own in goal area, so it's a little bit of a mess. But obviously, Zach Lomax must go to the captain in Ben Hunt to say, "Hey, I didn't get a touch on this," and actually challenge it three and a bit minutes into the game. Mm -hmm. So you talk about when's the the ideal time to challenge. Unless it's really super obvious, I don't think three and a bit minutes into the game is the uh, you know is is the is the right way to go in, in this particular case. And what happened there was that the decision went against them, and Dragons lost their uh, captain challenge for the rest of the game when they may have needed it towards the back end. Now the score line didn't uh, work out like that, but again, if you look at context, the two earlier examples, I think there's a bit of context, and I think you know they're in their their um, I suppose you know right frame of mind to to challenge the, the referee's decision. But that last one is a little bit unusual for me. Yeah, OK, you've got to remember with Cap Bundaberg Rum Captain Challenges to also do the game plan. Thanks so much, Siebes. If you want to get to any of the games this weekend, simply head to nrl.com.